What's up, YouTube? This is Atticus from The Complete Trade, and today we're going to initiate coverage on CleanSpark stock. So this spreadsheet contains the top three Bitcoin mining stocks, Mara, CleanSpark, and Riot. So since we sold the majority of our cryptocurrency holdings in the last Bitcoin episode, go check that out, we've had some time to do some research to see which Bitcoin miners are in the best position heading into the Bitcoin halving. The biggest takeaway from this spreadsheet is that Mara is dominating the Bitcoin mining industry. From the amount of Bitcoin mined daily, to the hash rate, to the amount of Bitcoin these companies are holding, Mara is by far the clear winner. In fact, Mara has outmined both CleanSpark and Riot in the month of December. CleanSpark and Riot have mined 720 and 619 Bitcoin respectively in the month of December, whereas Mara has mined 1,853 Bitcoin in the month of December. In regards to the amount of Bitcoin mined per day, Mara is approaching 60 Bitcoin mined per day, which is tripling the amount of Bitcoin that Riot is mining per day. Taking a look at their hash rates, which measures computational power, Mara's hash rate has doubled CleanSpark's hash rate and almost doubled Riot's hash rate. Taking a look at their huddle stack, Mara owns five times as much Bitcoin as CleanSpark does and twice as much Bitcoin as Riot does. The reason why this metric is so important is that Michael Saylor's MicroStrategy is actually not a Bitcoin company. MicroStrategy is a software technology company that converted its entire balance sheet into Bitcoin. And that's why Wall Street made Michael Saylor a very wealthy man in the last bull markets because of the amounts of Bitcoin that Michael Saylor and MicroStrategy was holding. Basically, what I'm saying is that the amount of Bitcoin a company holds is very important heading into the Bitcoin halving. So if you're going to take anything from this video, it's that Mara has one, proven its ability to scale its business, and two, Mara is currently the king of Bitcoin miners heading into the Bitcoin halving. Jumping into the long-term picture for CleanSpark stock, CleanSpark had a five-wave impulse in the last bull markets. Afterwards, in the bear markets, CleanSpark had a three-wave correction back into our blue Fibonacci retracement support area for our wave two retracement. The target for wave three should hit $307.45, which is where the 1.618 Fibonacci retracement is located. $307.45 is our bull market top projection for CleanSpark stock. Okay, jumping into smaller timeframes, CleanSpark is in the middle of a wave two retracement in the form of a 335 running flat structure. Wave B retested the 200 weekly moving average in red, as well as the rising wedge trend lines, as well as the 1.382 to 1.618 Fibonacci retracement, which is a common target for an overshooting B wave. And obviously, CleanSpark is coming down in wave C in the form of an impulse. CleanSpark has now crashed almost 50% from its B wave high, so this move towards the downside is very characteristic of an impulsive C wave of a flat structure. The blue Fibonacci retracement support area spans between $3.81 to $6.19. The financial advice, which is not financial advice, is to wait for $5 to $6 to re-evaluate CleanSpark stock. The only problem right now is that Bitcoin is still above $42,000 and CleanSpark stock, along with other crypto stocks, have entered crash territory, nosediving over 30% plus. So if Bitcoin comes back down to the lower $30,000 region, if not lower, where will CleanSpark stock bottom? So that's the million dollar question at the moment. Hence, the financial advice is to wait until $5 to $6 and then reevaluate CleanSpark stock. Moving into some indicators, starting with the daily RSI indicator, very similar to Coinbase stock, the bearish divergence on the daily time frame was very evident with CleanSpark stock forming higher highs, but the daily RSI indicator was printing lower highs. This bearish divergence is currently playing out. Very similar to the Coinbase episode, one bottoming signal we are looking for is the daily RSI to hit the oversold region. So we want to see a daily RSI reading under 30. The current RSI reading is at 35.7. Shifting gears to the MACD, looks like crap. We haven't seen the MACD histogram this low since November of 2021, and that's when the cryptocurrency bear market began. Not to spread fear, but this is a bit scary. Cryptocurrency bulls seem very complacent at the moment. We keep hearing about the Bitcoin ETF and how Hong Kong is about to approve a Bitcoin ETF, which means everyone in the world will eventually buy Bitcoin. We have heard these narratives millions of times. This is not our first rodeo in crypto. We have absolutely no interest in telling you what you want to hear. We're just showcasing our work and our analysis. And to be honest, 
most if not all crypto stocks look like crap at the moment. Taking a look at the TD sequential indicator, CleanSpark stock is on the left and Bitcoin is on the right. As you can see, CleanSpark stock printed a 9 count sell signal and CleanSpark stock so far has crashed nearly 50%. The reason why this is a bit scary is that Bitcoin just printed a 9 count sell signal on the weekly time frame. So if Bitcoin ends up crashing to the downside, God knows where CleanSpark stock is going to go. This is why we said earlier, wait until 5 to $6 and then re-evaluate. Let's take a look at Coinbase stock. The 9 count sell signal we talked about a few weeks ago is playing out perfectly. Okay, let's close things off with something more bullish for the long term, which is the Queen Spark against Mira valuation. So instead of analyzing Bitcoin mining spreadsheets, this is another method of comparing Bitcoin miners. As you can see, the Queen Spark against Mira valuation is currently sitting right at the 61.8% Fibonacci retracement, which is the golden ratio, as well as the white one to one trend based Fib extension. Bull shaped structures are usually quite bullish. So the fact that the clean spark against Mira valuation is sitting at the golden ratio support level, as well as trading in a bull shaped structure, leads us to believe that when the bull market really comes into effect, we should see a pop in the clean spark against Mira valuation. This should lead to significant price appreciation for clean spark stock. Okay, so that's my analysis on clean spark stock for this week. I hope you guys enjoy the video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.